I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is wrestling. More importantly, how in the sale product production. How in the sale predictions, you feel me, for this Sunday. Feel me? Gotta plug the static shock shirt real quick. Uh how in the sale predictions for this Sunday. Now, right now this is only a five match card. Without which I like, you feel me? One thing that we could give WB credit for during this pandemic, they didn't make these cards super long. I feel like no card, no, excuse me, no pay-per-view during the pandemic, probably besides Mania, and that was probably only like three hours. No card went past three three hours. No pay-per-view, I feel like, during this pandemic. And I like that, you feel me? Because who the fuck wants to be in an empty building with no crowd for three hours, for four hours? Who the fuck wants to do that, you feel me? So I feel like we've definitely only got like five, six matches on these pay-per-views. They haven't been takeover like matches though. That's one fuck up that they had. They these hasn't been takeover like pay-per-views. If they was, that'd that'd have been great. But these some of these matches sometimes on pay per view feel like Nah, we could have missed that. That wasn't all that. But they got a pay per view every month though. Every month they got a pay per view. Now, let's try to talk about some of these. One, this is a three women's match card. It's three women's matches on this card. Do you feel me? That's different. That's different. That's different. We haven't seen that in a while. And none of them is the tag team titles. That's another thing that's different. So, we got Alexa Bliss and Shannon Baszler. This is a very polarizing feud. Do you feel me? Alexa Bliss is like the new... Bray Wyatt, the new Fiend character in a way. Uh, I said this in a previous video. Vince McMahon loves Alexa Bliss. Not for her hair or nothing like that. Because he created... I feel like I credit Vince McMahon towards Alexa Bliss more than Triple H. You feel me? Not saying that he was helping her wrestle and all that. But if you look at Alexa Bliss in NXT and you look at her now, is a different person completely. Like completely. She never did jack shit in NXT. It's like since day one, Vince McMahon just pushed her. You feel me? He see her like a modern day Trish Stratus. You feel me? Now, Shayna Baszler. She's another one I feel like is very polarizing. You feel me? I say that because you could say Shayna Baszler has been buried. You feel me? She came up, what, almost two years ago? You feel me? The, she came up, what? No, she didn't come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She came up after the Rumble. You feel me? She came up after the Rumble. Not la la not this year Rumble, last year Rumble. Was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Last year. So she does that, right? Um, she has the feud with Becky Lynch, then Becky Lynch goes get pregnant. Now, they could have made Shayna Baszler a priority, you feel me? And she has been, but she's been a lower priority, you feel me? So once Becky Lynch leaves, they make Oscar the star. Oscar's the star of Monday Night Raw. Then they have Bailey and Sasha. They start running the show. You feel me? Then after that, uh, Shayna Baszler and them beats, uh, beats, uh, Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax beats Bailey and Sasha Banks. They do that because I'm going to tell you why they put them together too. Because Nia Jax, she's versatile too, but she's another one. Vince McMahon loves her too. She didn't do jack shit in NXT, bro. Like I really credit her. I really credit Nia Jax's success to Miss McMahon. You feel me? It's easy if Triple H is like, "Hey, I already made her star. You don't gotta drop this." Now he's like, "All right, I don't even know how people gonna react to her knees main positions." You feel me? Let me do it. So Shayna Baszler hasn't been the woman in NXT. She hasn't. We could agree on that. Here's what I think about that. Now that NXT's on live TV, we literally see how many people watch it. And it's not a lot. And then when we see the Raw ratings, it damn near doubles it. Monday Night Raw damn near doubles NXT. So that tells you everybody that watches NXT doesn't watch Monday Night Raw. So it's like, that's a big fucking fan base, bro. I ain't gonna, that's a big fucking fan base that's not watching your product. You feel me? That's watching the main product. That's where they supposed to go. So it's like, yeah, the hardcores might know her, but I could repackage this person completely and nobody ever know. You feel me? Like, yeah, some people are on the internet, but 
the people that's coming to buy tickets and all that is not going to know, like, or care. Like, when people leave WWE, they, they change their whole name and shit. So if I'm a fan of you and you left WWE, now I got to search up uh, Andrade El Idolo. So it's like, bro, it happens, bro. This happens. But Shayna Baszler could have been booked better. I could say that. Has she been buried? No. No, I don't think that. Is this a win situation for her? Probably backstage, maybe. Like, if she don't go backstage bitching about it, I feel like this could be good for her. But right now it's about Alexa Bliss. And I don't even know what the end goal is with her. I wouldn't have had... Oh, my phone on this for mad long. But I wouldn't have had Alexa Bliss and Shayna Baszler be Alexa Bliss's first storyline like that. You feel me? I feel like Naomi would have been perfect for it. Because they have history from SmackDown in 2016. Nikki Cross would have been perfect for her, her first target. Because they got history. They was tag champions. Lana would have been perfect because she's just Lana. And y'all could have did that before y'all fired her. Mandy Rose. Like, it's so many other people they could have used for this. Other than Shayna Baszler. But I got Alexa Bliss winning. Whatever that means. You feel me? So then we got Bianca Belly and Bailey. This one, they've had a good match last pay-per-view. I ain't gonna hold you. This one is like, we all know where this is going on. We all went for Sasha Banks. And I love what they did. You feel me? We didn't see Sasha Banks since WrestleMania. You can't do that with every storyline because she's a big star. But you could do that with some storylines. Like some, every woman's storyline is not built the same in WWE. But people don't say that. You feel me? And they have four different championships for women. They have the Raw Women's, SmackDown Women's. Not even seven. They got the NXT Tag Team, the NXT Women's. They got the Raw women, the um, main roster tag team. Then they got the um, UK women's. So they literally have mad women's titles, bro. And none of them are like built. None of the championship matches get built the same to me, which is very fucking hard. But you see where this is going. You feel me? We just waiting for Sasha Banks to come back. You feel me? And when the draft come, I would trade Bianca. I would trade Bailey and Shayna Baszler. I think both of them need like. New people to fight, a new environment. So I got Bianca Belair winning. Then we got Rhea and Charlotte. I thought this was a Hell in a Cell match. I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was a Hell in a Cell match, but it's not. Um, they've been feuding since last year at WrestleMania when Charlotte beat her. I feel like Rhea got to get her win back, but they do want to save this for a crowd in a way. You feel me? I feel like they do want to save this for a crowd. But I will have Rhea Ripley win. I wouldn't put the belt back on Sasha because mad people is going to start bitching. Even though Rhea Ripley's had the belt since Mania and we're almost in July. You feel me? We're almost at SummerSlam. If she loses now, people going to complain for nothing. But I think Rhea Ripley should still win. So that's three. Then we got... I'm going to save the uh, most important one for last. So we got... And what I think is going to main event. I think Drew and Lashley should main event. I ain't gonna hold you. I think they should. But so we got Ray and Myster Ray Mysterio and Roman Reigns. There's no chance Ray's beating Ray. And I'm mad that this is hell in a cell. I ain't gonna lie. I would have rather if Rhea and Ripley and Charlotte are not gonna be hell in a cell, then just have one. Have Bobby Lashley and Drew and hell in a cell. You feel me? I don't like that this is hell in a cell match. You feel me? I feel like they don't need that. So I got Roman Reigns winning. That's clear. Then we got Drew and Bob Lashley. If Drew McIntyre wins, he can't challenge for the title no more. Bobby Lashley has just reached the 100 day mark a few days ago as champion. This might sound weird. This might honestly sound weird. And I'm not even saying I would want this to happen, but A, this would be surprising as far as nobody's seen it coming. And, but they've done this already. That's the problem. And they've done it recently, like four years ago. All right. So, SummerSlam's coming up, right? The big match for SummerSlam on the Raw side could go a couple of ways. It could. It could. Especially if they want to be the SummerSlam. Nah, I'm lying. It can't go a couple of ways. Especially if they want to be the summer, the WrestleMania SummerSlam. The, sum, 
the WrestleMania of the summer. If they want that, then this can only go one way. And that's it got Brock Lesnar gotta be the challenger. I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like Brock Lesnar gotta be the challenger. Now, the way I hope they don't do it, but I could see them doing it, is Brock just comes out and kill both of them. I feel like they did that with the Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman match a few years ago. That's why I wouldn't do it now. That's too soon. But the big match is definitely Brock versus Lashley or or Brock versus Drew rematch. I do want to see Brock versus Drew again because we didn't get to enjoy it the first time. And Brock and Lashley is a big match. I got Drew McIntyre winning, and here's my explanation. I feel like they they, uh, they also are building um, Kofi Kingston turning on Xavier Woods. I don't think that's actually going to happen. I think you can get a title match out of Kofi versus Bobby Lashley, especially at the July pay-per-view. Like, I feel like you can definitely get a match out of that. But... You just still need something for Drew McIntyre. I ain't gonna hold you. And if he doesn't win, it's like literally nothing for him to do. If he wins, it's fake nothing for him to do. But if he loses, it's really nothing for him to do. You feel me? Like, there's no, there's no challenges I really want to see him face on Raw. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Him versus AJ? Ah, uh, not really. Not really. I feel like they wasted that. We had that at TLC, and we just had that on Raw last night. I feel like that would be a good match, but I'm not excited for how it was a few years ago. Would they bring Walter in? I would love that, but they're not going to do that. Would they send him to SmackDown? Probably, but then Raw would have no top baby face. So I got Drew McIntyre winning. That's my prediction. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.